All right, welcome to Final Fantasy IX. This is episode 27, I believe. Let me confirm before I continue this time. <laughs> I think last time I messed up and said 20-something else, and it was really not. It is episode 27. All right, cool. Let's get going. I'll load my game. And uh, I need to finish where I'm at, which um, I could not get past this one part here. Some kind of puzzle in which I'm not allowed to touch the ones with light next to them. So I need to watch this stupid pattern here. Okay, so first, first it starts off diagonal like that. Okay, I know the route I want to take. Oh, I forgot that those two match together. Man. Should kill this thing pretty quick. Virus fly. Tag or vaccine? Okay, so first diagonal. Okay. I'm assuming there's no, uh, bridge. Let me go back. The bridge disappear before the time runs out? Alright, current attitude, altitude, one. Current heading, zero. Standard heading, one. Okay. Decrease, increase. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So I need it to be like four or five.
I see. I see. Okay. Very odd. Might have missed. Can I get to that one chest? Let's give it a shot. So let's see, put it on zero maybe, and then let's now let's put it on like one or two. I need to see if I can get on it from the other side. That looks like it matches or lines up. Sounded like it just ripped his pants. Not sure. 
I see I can get on it there, but I wonder if I can get on it up here. Oh, thanks for healing me. That's what it looked like is that he healed me, but when I have auto regen. Turn to the left once. <laughs> we'll never get anywhere if we keep going back and forth. Why couldn't we do that to begin with? Hoping that it was going to be a chest of, uh, not a chest, I was hoping it was going to be weapons or something. So I need it turned to the, the right, or clockwise. There we go. Can I go? No, I can't go back that way. Shoot. This isn't this just wonder wonderful. Now I do want the chests. Okay, so it, they seem to be on top of each other. So this one over here. We get this chest.
Battle boots. Eh. Not that interested in those. Always this, uh, whatever it is, a bad one. I wonder if I can eat this thing. Learned Twister. Okay. And then, how to get some of these other ones? No. I need to go up here. Can't jump over. Uh, save. How am I gonna get over there? Major Head Kupo, do you still want to go on now? Dang, I want to figure these out. It looks like I could go back behind this, but I can't. That would just take me down here. Is there another side? I did not know you could go this way. Let's do this one then. That's how we do it. Back up. Over to this one. Can I go this way? No. Alright, I got all the chests. Something male. I'd say it goes on Steiner. Ooh. Auto region for you. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, 
ability equip. Uh, equip. Auto regen. Ability up. Accuracy would be good. Okay. Go back. Out of curiosity. Anybody know how to auto regen? Auto potion. Um, you don't happen to have it though, do you? It seems like you did at one point. Something. Alright, what about you, Tara? Oh, you're about to learn it. Okay. So, do you have it equipped? You don't. Why? What does that do? would help a lot. And what is this one? Oh, there were three options. Okay. Alright, well this is the way I want to go. Tent. And then save, and I uh, should be good. Yes, I just, I just saved. We should be all fine. There's the observatory. You told me that you'd become my angel of death. But think for a moment. Isn't life death itself? It must kill other life forms to survive. Sometimes it even kills those whom it shares blood. To live, is a, to live is to give life meaning, yet one must take others' lives to survive. A mature civilization becomes aware of, its, of this paradox. Terra's souls will sleep until they forget such nonsense. They will begin a new life in a new dimension. It's a world in which life and death become one. That is the dimension in which we are meant to live as beings that transcend life and death. The Dane, I'll ask you one more time, who are you? You're a sad man, Garland. We know more than you. We're not perfect, but we have friends who help us. That is reason enough for us to live. I may not know who I really am, but that is my question alone to answer. I exist to eat, but also exist to live. We may be weak, but that's what makes us work together and help one another. 
Then show me. Lecture me again when you are on the verge of death. Oh, so I fight a dragon and not you? Alright. I just have to try. Level 5 death. And I also have to try Atomos. Nope. No death. Twister. Oh, I know Twister. Oh, let me do it. Okay, so nothing. Come on, this has to work on somebody, right? Oh, I forgot to... Accidentally hit auto for a second. Come on, I... You get sucked into another dimension and then dropped on your butt. Nothing! Wow. That, uh, that Twister did pretty good, too. Like 5,000 hit points. Ifrit. Does that take care of it? Wow. That twister is really powerful. Awesome. Darwin, tell me. What is it that you want to accomplish? The restoration of Terra, isn't it obvious? No, that's what the people of Terra want. Why aren't you asleep with the rest of them? I was created to oversee Terra. I exist to wait for a time when this world is without life or death. I am the absolute controller of this planet. But now I'm fighting him. Okay. Alright. Ifrit. Actually. Thunder Slash? Does that do anything? 672? Okay. Whatever. Twister. Jiva? Does Animus work on you? There we go. 3,000. That's better. Twister, do your job.
Okay. So I'm just gonna have to hit hit him with physical attacks, mostly. Like, I'm sucking you into a vortex. Nothing. That's okay. I'll I'll recover. Two hundred ninety? Um, where's my ethers at? Is it up here? Yeah. Critical. Um, I don't like have auto life or nothing. Okay. I love how bosses can't, like, they can silence you and stop you and you can't do a thing to them. Oh, your beard, like, his beard or something was cutting out. You fight well. Give it up, Garland. What the? And... Oh, you're gonna be saved. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. This is too easy. The Invincible is mine. Now I have the power to control all souls. Garland gave me everything without a fight. The old fool was too busy dealing with him. Now only death awaits him. Poor Garland. Bitten by his own dog. This is no accident. Fate has chosen me to become the ruler, the new ruler of Terra. Time for me to put on the finishing touches. I must say, I truly love you all. You not only broke the seal to Terra, but you did me the favor of de defeating Garland. The Dane, you are truly an extraordinary genome, deserving of my love. What are you doing here, Kuja? That's not very nice way to. That's not a very nice way to greet your brother. Shut up! You're no brother of mine. Oh, such ferocity! Master Garland, he intends to fight Terra. Kuja, what are you scheming? Scheming? Me. Watch me as I defeat these enemies of Terra. 
Come on now. You may sleep alongside the souls of Terra. For all eternity. Hold on. I I am so infatuated with what what is Atomos really used for? Final Fantasy. Like what can I use Atomos for? Reduces all enemies' HP. Amount of damage depends on target's HP. It just makes no sense that I can't use it. Every time I've tried to use it, watch this. Every time I've tried to use it. It always misses. How does it miss when I'm sucking him into this thing? You call that an attack? Okay. Uh, how about this one? Why does Atanas always miss? Really? Only 686. The, the time is now. Am I actually gonna beat the game tonight? Is this the? Is this it? Cause I thought, I thought disc four was gonna be. I thought there was gonna be more after going to this place. Ultima. I 
think I think I just lost, and that was the way it was supposed to be. Yeah, it's just part of the story. Yes, this is the power I've longed for. Yeah, but I, I also trance too, but I don't keep it. The mighty power of souls, they assault any threat that tries to destroy them. Well, what do you mean? It's trance. You know how it works. But a normal trance won't be enough to defeat you. You're... You're all as resilient as Oglops. Even tiny Moogles possess the power of trance. When I saw that in Gullick Volcano, I came up with a plan. It was easy. I just needed to borrow the power from wretched souls that, that can't die. Where did I acquire it? It was the Invincible. Or should I say that large eyeball in the sky? The ship sucked up all the souls of Medan Sari. Derry. The Aoife tree. Alexandria to feed upon them. When it fought Bahamut at the Aoife tree, the Invincible drew in a powerful spirit. Can you guess to whom it belonged? No. That's right. It was your mother's soul. A wretched soul that clung to life to the bitter end. The souls trapped inside the Invincible welcomed me with open arms. They were fed up with being pr your prisoners, Garland. So, Master Garland, you are in, you are no longer needed. After all you've worked, af and after you've worked so hard, I shall rule Terra and Gaia with my unconditional love from now on. What will you do with such power? Master Garland, you of all people should accept defeat gracefully. Gra, Grag. Who would say that? <laughs> How sad. Any last words? Your power is meaningless. Ah. Now it's your turn. Should I kill you quickly to show my appreciation for all you've done? Or should I kill you slowly and painfully to show you my love? Oh, I've got a great idea. How's this? I'll make you pillars for my castle. You'll all decorate my castle as a symbol of my in eternal kingdom. How do you like that? No, never. You can never build an internal kingdom. That voice. Garland? Did you leave something behind? Do you think a, def a defect like you could last forever? What? What do you mean? I built you to last only until the worthy genome Zidane grew. It was too dangerous to let you last any longer than that. What are you saying? There's a limit on your life. You'll be dead soon. Even as I die, you'll have, di you'll have died without ever leaving your mark on the world. What an interesting lie. You're telling me that my life will end soon? Nice try, Garland. But I won't fall for your silly tricks, Garland. Garland, answer me. You were created to destroy. You are mortal. You are a mortal. A mortal. I'm finished? I don't believe you. Why would I believe such a silly story? You're telling me that I'll die soon, now that I'm more powerful than anyone? I'm gonna... die? Lose my soul? <laughs> what comedy? Zidane isn't it hilarious? I'll die just like the black mages I so despise. I single-handedly brought chaos unto Gaia. But in the end, I'm nothing but a worthless doll. 
Kuja. Kuja. I won't let it happen. I won't. I won't let this world exist without me. I hate these mushroom looking platforms. Especially the tall ones. Okay, so he's basically destroying his own planet. Kuja, I can't believe him. Zidane, we gotta get out of here before the tower collapses. But how? We need to carry the injured out too. Let's steal Kuja's ship, the Invincible. It's at the bottom of the tower. Oh yeah, but... Alright, you guys, head for the ship. I'm gonna rescue the genomes. They're victims. I can't just abandon them. I'm coming with you. Tara, I don't want you to leave us again. So I'll keep watch over you. Okay. We should be able to get back through the warp gate on the other tower. Tara and I will head back to Bronball. You guys come get us on the Invincible. Uh oh. Oh, okay. I was like, zero to what? Oh, go around. It's the Rainbow Road. Looks like a teleporter led landing to the upper levels. It might take us back to Bronball. Ah! What's wrong? Behind you. They're just eyes. It's okay. Let's go. Just eyes? How very bold of you. Um, Tara? Yes? Um, about what happened earlier. What is it, Zidane? I feel like I'm being watched. Just say it. We need to hurry. Um, you came to my rescue, right? And? Um, what you said to me. It made me really happy. Zidane? How can I say this? Um, thanks. That was it? That was a terrible... Thank you. Oh, do I have to control them too now? Hurry, hurry! This Dinkyo Tower is gonna collapse any minute! He's like, uh... I hate being here. I haven't found anything to eat. I know, find good food on Terra. Yeah. Maybe I eat eyeball over there. Quinn, hurry up, or you'll be left behind. I'm happy we leave. No good food anywhere. I think we're still okay. Let's evacuate the genomes. Am I supposed to go up or down? Down. Oh, I remember. This is where I first entered uh, that area. From Bon Ball. Dan Ball. Dan Bow. Whatever. Whatever it's called. 
The dang, let's split up. Yeah, I'll go this way. We'll meet up when the Invincible arrives. Hey, come with me, blah, 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 blah. Your father, he's dead, and uh, people are going to kill us. My gosh, this ship is enormous. Judging from our current position, I believe the bridge is this is that way. From my eyes, it looks like it's that's that is a bridge, but that's not what bridge means. Hold it, where's Quinna? Ah, is she late again? Ho ho ho! I arrive. I warp inside from bottom of ship. Why were you underneath the ship in the first place? Save it for later. We must later. We must get to the ship. Must get the ship moving. What are you still doing here? We need to evacuate. What's the point? They're only empty vessels. Stop talking like that. Do you really believe what you just said? Unlike the rest of them, Garland gave me a soul that I might replace you and Kuja. But Garland is dead. Terra will soon be destroyed. What's the point? I ask myself the same question. Did you find an answer? No. But maybe the point is to just try. It's going to be hard. But I've got my friends. It isn't so bad. Hey, what's your name? Huh? Garland gave you a name, didn't he? My name is Miki Mi Mikoto? Mikoto? Mikoto. Mikoto, Mikoto, huh? That's a nice name. A lot of people are going to call you that from now on. You have to find the answer yourself. It'll be hard, but you can do it. Let's go to the New World, Mi Mikoto. There, you can find the answer. There, you can find your answer. Mikoto. Mikoto? Mikoto? Tara, where is Zidane? He'll be here any minute. He's looking for the last genome. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Zidane! Sorry I'm late, but now we've, we have... We got everyone. Everyone on board now. We must leave immediately. We made it. Yes, we managed to escape from Terra, but... What's wrong, Freya? Well, I was talking to Amaranth about it earlier. You don't think this is it... This is the end, do you? Are you talking about Kuja? You really think he perished with Terra? Even with his power, it's hard to believe that he'd have escaped unscathed. What do you think, Zidane? What will Kuja do next? He'll probably try to destroy Gaia. But how? There was one thing Garland said. Something about a tree that serves as a gateway of souls between Gaia and Terra. That must be... Yeah. It's the Aoife tree. Everyone! You must come look. Come with me. What's up, Steiner? Can't you just tell us? It would be faster to come see it on the bridge. 
I want that chest. Oh, what's up? They're just clouds. That's actually what I was thinking. Like, oh, just clouds. All right. It's not a normal cloud. What? It's lower. Let's lower out our altitude and see. Don't you see? Our altitude is not very high. And this is all we can see. Then what could it be? It's mist. It's what black mages are made out of and what used to cover the mist continent. The mist has covered all of Gaia? The mist has covered all of Gaia. That was Terra talking, not the day. Why? How? Kuja, what are you planning now? Thanks, they were uneasy at first, but I think they'll get along fine. There's no need to thank me. You've done all you've done all us all a great service. It wasn't a big deal. Well anyway, everything everything's gonna be okay. Are you sure it's okay for them to stay here? Of course it is. So this is this was Vivi's idea. Yeah. He wanted the genomes to start their li their new lives here. We're similar in many ways. Maybe we can understand them better and they can they might open up to us. Right. He also said if you guys can get along with the genomes, maybe humans and black mages can live alongside each other someday. Like you and Vivi. I didn't even know if I truly understood him until recently. We'll take good care of him. Your friends are our friends. Thanks. This is a mon- Is this a monster? He's a chocobo, not a monster. He's called Bobby Corwin. Oh, you gave him a name. Yeah, Bobby Corwin. Isn't it a great name? Sounds great. Bobby Corwin, huh? I think Bar Bobby Corwin, Corwin lo likes you, too. It won't bite? Oh, come on. He's just a little baby chocobo. Bobby Corwin, no! Come back here! Well, I think Bobby Corwin really likes... Our new friend. Can't you just call him by his first name? Yeah, Bobby Corwin. Call it Bobby Corwin. Bobby Corwin. Why do you display these items? Why? For the customers, I think. What are customers? Well, they bring money and they hand the money over to the shop and then... What is money? Money is, uh... Why you care about small things? World very simple place. World only have two things. Things you can eat and things you cannot... Can no eat. No can eat. Does the water here ever stay still? Water flows, doesn't it? The water of Bromball was always still. Hey, did you know that time flows just like water? So water and time both flow in Gaia? Looks like they're off to a good start. Huh. It's like watching kids play. It's not their fault. They've only just begun to live their lives. And lost time be recovered? I don't know. But there's only one thing we can do. Of course. We must protect them from anyone who tries to take their time away from them. Princess, is this what you really wish? 
Huh. What are you talking about? Kuja must have done something in the Eva tree to cover the world in mist. Do you not think it wise to consult Regent Sid before the final battle? Kuja probably plans on destroying Gaia. If I go to Lindblom now and tell the Regent about it, it might cause a panic. I'm sure everyone is apprehensive, apprehensive about the reappearance of the mist. I need Uncle Sid to protect Lindblom right now. Indeed, we must defeat the enemy on our own. Even if we go back to Lindblom to get equipped, please don't tell the tell Uncle Sid about our plans. Are we ready? Yes, let's go. You haven't got a chance. You saw Kuja's power. He destroyed a world by himself. You don't even have a million and one chance of defeating him. You'll all die. Debbie Downer over there. Wow, this girl knows lots of difficult words. Doesn't she? She's a bit cynical, but take good care of her, will you? Her name is Mik Mikoto. She's kind of like my little sister. What? Mikoto, listen to your big brother and make some friends. How silly. We might be desperate insects to Kuja, but I'll show you how powerful we can be. Even a fly lives for a day. I don't think that's what Zidane meant. Let's go to the Ifa tree. We won't let Kuja have his way. Oh, wow. All right, so let's get you over here. Get you over here. Oh, please don't. Oh, yeah, it's exactly like the other one, right? Alright, so I'm basically going to be going into, over there to that thing. Um, instead, I am going to end our episode and... We'll go, to, we'll, we'll go into the next episode. I, I hate... The way endings are, it's not just a final battle, it's like... It's always, it's typically a maze at the end. You go through this, through this maze, you have to battle to get in, and uh, then you have like a boss battle that has like three, three sections. Either way, um, I'll probably do some leveling up. I'll probably get some more auto region stuff, uh, try to look for everybody's maximum weapon um and then we'll we'll see you in the next episode i'll see you guys later thanks for watching